what up YouTube it's me it's me it's your favorite Steve how you doing it is Thursday just going through my midweek sales midweeks ones are always you know not as good as the weekend ones you know what I mean but them all right them all right them all right you know what I mean and I'm, I'm a bit flustered I've just been trying to find badges I think I'm, I mentioned on a video the other day about finding some badges out and then packing them up and putting them away I just did exactly the same thing I was looking for a badge a badge that I'd already picked out was way too close to the badges that I've just tipped out to have a look at and then I put that one away and that's a get through them all again oh, for God's sake man um, anyway yeah it's been very badge heavy the past couple of days when they're under this Tuesday so yeah the past two days have been very badge heavy heavy somebody brought like 15 badges yesterday so I've got the laptop in front of me um, and we will go through them hope your week's been all right do, 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 do. right so we're gonna go through the badges first um, we have a donkey sanctuary badge. Look at them. Look at them. Look at donkey. Good, yeah. Uh, that one went for £2.60. We have an R, oh, oh, which is the Royal. Now, I don't know if this is some kind of cult. I'm not sure. Um, but it's the Royal Anti Delivian Order of Buffaloes. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of like a Liverpool badge uh, with some horns on. Grand Primo, I don't know, but that one went for £7.50. I have no clue. And then the rest of these badges went for a total of £30. Somebody paid for 12 badges, which they're nice because they're the ones that have just got, I don't know, made up names. Um, not really anything to them, so it was a nice little sale to get rid of some. So we've got like a snow white, snow white badge, which I think is like a theatre performance or something like that. Um, we have a Skegosaurus badge. We have a bite with style. It's magic. I don't know if that's like a slogan for a shop or something. Um, we have, I'm just a big Rudy. Yes, I am. I'm just a big Rudy. Have you ever called anybody a Rudy? Um, we have Poco says, use your postcode. Uh, Grimace from, is it Mackie's? Is it Mackie's? I'll go with Mackie's. But Grimace from Mackie's. Uh, Valentine's Day, love hurts. Maybe somebody wants that because they're a little bit heartbroken. Um, Scramblers, Scramblers dog one. We have I'm collecting elegant porcelain dolls. Are you? No, I'm not. That one. Went. Oh, there's another one here. I love Slumberland Beds pin badge. Uh, we've got an Avon Kiss one. And then last but not least, good thank you. A Dalmatian Puppy pin badge. So yeah, they all went for 30 quid in total. 30 smackaroos. And each badge would have cost me about. 13p something like that so looking at the average about third so say even if it was 20p each what's that 20 times 20 tag away of five divided by seven what's that? three times two is 50. so one pound 50 is that right so why have, why have we got three so they all cost 20p 12 times three is Why am I going in threes? Twelve. So that'll cost me twenty p. Twelve times two is twenty four. Two pound forty. 
It's good on pretty man. <laughs> man, I hurt my own head then. Oh, what well, okay? What? Where's the three coming from? Anyway, badges. That's the badges that went. Um, clothing wise, oh, I've got the best one on the top, so I'll just show you this one. Um, I showed you this the other week. Um, it's a mint velvet dress. It went on auction, and then somebody sent me. I was having a crap day. I think it was yesterday. I didn't sell anything till like three o'clock in the afternoon, so I accepted a less than half price offer on it. Um, but it's got like it's when I bought it, it looks it looks in really good condition. If I just held it up like that, it looks brand new, no issues, whatever. But there are loads. Let's see if we can find them. There. Can you see the line down there? See it there? There are loads of them all over it. All over the back, all over the arms. Lots of these pencil line pulls. So I I still think I kind of went high. I went for 32 quid. Um, I think I said I was originally said I was going to go for 40. Um, but I went for 32 quid. I was on a bad day and someone offered 18, so I took the 18. Um, but yeah, it wasn't after seeing all those um, got little pull lines. I think it was a stain as well. Um, yeah, I just I just thought so I'd get rid of it. So 18 quid. Uh, this one's a Wolves, um, local Wolves merchandise. Kind of pull over jacket, but it's not in the best condition. It's pretty faded. It's pretty faded. You can't really tell. There's a lot of bobbling around the neck. Um, but that went for a tenner. Cost me four quid. It's an official wolves. Pull over sweater kind of thing. Oh, we have some Jack and Jones jeans that sold yesterday. Some kind of turquoise looking ones. It's Tim Slim. So I think these were on for 20 quid. And I accepted an offer with the postage off, so I went for 15.99. Just some Jack and Jones turquoise jeans, Tim Slim ones. So they cost me three and I went for 16. Um, these two next ones are old stock again. Stock that I've taken off listings um as i said i've started taking off like five a day uh so i've taken them off my listings relisted them and then they've sold they're not they're not being listed for very long either um this one was a size 20 to 22 um bcp bond prey bond pre dress so yeah it's a big dress um this one was from a job lot I brought up somebody, I think. Um, so it cost me a band. Give me a sec, where's my mess? So it cost me a pound and it went for eleven ninety nine. Big dress. For eleven ninety nine. And then this one from the same haul. So it cost me a pound again, and this one went for seven ninety nine. It's just a salmon shirt. What's the brand? Iri the original Morley Trading, which I think is Matalan. So, yeah, just a shirt. I got it from a job lot. I bought some of these clothing stock off them a couple of years ago. So, yeah, um, just it's stuff that's been on my listings for way over a year. I've took it off, I've then relisted it and it's sold. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, we have some Wallace shoes. Again, this is from another job lot that I bought off someone. Um, from Amy's job lot. So yeah, some Wallace shoes. Cost me less than a pound. Um, they went for 15 quid. With some purple Wallace shoes. Healy foul suede shoes. Shoes, my false shoes. Oh, we've got a piece of jewelry. What about this? 
of a piece of jewellery. I, boy, what's going on today? <laughs> um, I spring hinged. So I've got, again, I've changed. This is something again, something that I've taken off and then relisted. Um, so I, I put this leopard print, leopard print bracelet, put bracelet within first four words, Lex, if you're watching, um, spring hinged mint green, and then I'll put bangle and costume jewelry. Uh, but this sold, this is from a job lot I've got of Lex because it's in, I bought necklaces, um, yeah, I bought necklaces off my own back, but I've never really bought bangles. Um, but yeah, so. Three ninety nine. I'm going for nothing special. Uh, another thing, the, actually, the next two items. Oh, I am. As I said, I've been putting stuff brand new on auction. Oh, I've had an offer for something. It's come through from my phone. Um, yeah. So as I've said, I've started putting stuff on auction. Um, for the first week, and then if it hasn't sold in that first week, I then put it on buy it now. Um, but I've, I've, I've been pretty like stubborn when it comes to the price. Um, like I'm like I'm like no, on that first week of auction, I'm not accepting any best offers that's underneath the auction price that I put it on. I've got a couple of offers this week, and obviously I've, it's been the week, so you know, not loads of orders are coming through. But I don't know. I'm, I'm I think I'm, I'm trying to get out of this conversation I was having with a few people while we were away, um, while I was in YouTube. Um, I'm trying to get out of that habit of being stubborn with my price and saying no, I want that price uh, because I, I don't know. Since I've been accepting offers, my money's gone up quite a bit. So I need to stop. You know what I mean? I need to stop having this thing of, oh, well, you know, you need to stick to your price. I know that's kind of what a lot of resellers would say. But I'm kind of of the mindset now of, I want money at the end of the day. I want money. I want to pay my bills and I want to do this for a living. So if I've got to accept a lesser offer to kind of, cover my money for the day I'm I'm going to do it from now on but it's not like I've accepted like massive reductions on these but I don't know I, I, I was proper had a word with myself the other day it was only it was the offer for these and something else I'll show you in a minute um, that were only a fiver off the asking price on auction and I was like no, no I want the auction price I want the auction price they can send me the offers next week when it's on buy it now. But I'm like, that customer might not be there the next week. So, yeah, I'm just starting to be a little bit more, you know, I'm not accepting stupid offers. Say someone's on for 50 quid and I take a tenner. It's not It's not like that. But being a little bit more, you know, I, I would have, say, something that's on for like 40 quid, say, and I'd only accept, like, a fiver off maybe a little bit over a fiver maybe seven quid but i'd never go to a tenner you know stuff like that so i'm just trying to be a little bit more yeah you know, i need the money so sorry anyway um some hobbs ballerina pumps i would have shown you these recently saying as they've gone on auction um so they only cost me what was it didn't cost me that much it's up. So I just went jabbering on them, you know. Um, so yeah, these were on auction. They are on for 30 quid. Somebody sent me an offer of 25. They only cost me 3.99. So I accepted 25 on them. And then the last one. Again, showed you this very recently. Was this um, blue Tiffany style light shade. Uh, so this cost me two ninety five. Add it on for thirty five quid on auction, and I've accepted thirty. So yeah, sod it. Staffs for sale. Staffs for sale. So yeah. So I don't know why I'm touching the laptop before it explains. So that's everything that went out since Tuesday. So it's it's not been a bad couple of days. Um, as I've said, I think this might be. 
as December was my best month ever last month. Um, this isn't going to be my best month ever, but it's definitely my best January. So I'm just going to carry on doing what I'm doing, accepting offers and stuff. Just had some COVID vaccine thing come from my phone. Um, but yeah, let me know what you what what you think about offers and because I know I've had a lot of conversation with people who are very stubborn on the price and some people don't put best offers on their items and they're very stubborn on the price that that I want this price and I'm gonna get this price, um, which I kind of have I've always kind of been very stubborn. I've had best offers on everything. But very stubborn on my price right like now. You can send me a best offer, but if it's anything more than a fiver, you can do one. <laughs> I'm just, you know. But anyway, let me know. For now, peace out. Stay safe, stay beautiful. Hope you're enjoying the videos. If you are enjoying the videos, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like the video if you liked it. All that jazz.